complete decay of plutonium-239, the last radioactive element in the exclusion zone, will continue more than 24,000 years. History of shelter object construction Designing of a unique facility, the shelter object, started after the governmental decision on the destroyed unit for long-term preservation. And already in May 1986, manufacturing of structures commenced in parallel with the designing. The territory was cleaned up, the transport communications were constructed, the territory around power unit number 4 was conquered. After that, the protective walls, as well as separation walls between power units number 4 and number 3 were constructed along the perimeter of the damaged unit 4. The concrete cascade wall and the new roof above the turbine hall were constructed, and Buster's wall was assembled. Installation of reactor hall covering supports was completed, and ventilation systems, control and measuring networks were arranged. On November 30, 1986, the State Acceptance Commission accepted the preserved Chernobyl Unit No. 4 for maintenance. Facts 200,000 people in three shifts constructed the sarcophagus during 206 days and nights. At the same time, a large scope of decontamination work was done at the surrounding territory. The soil surface layer was removed and transported. The territory was conquered and assaulted. In some places, the thickness of the late concrete at the HNPP territory reaches 3 meters. The decontamination of the territory and the roof provided a prompt decreasing of the exposure dose rate. In parallel with the shelter object construction, preparation for power units recommissioning and premises decontamination was underway. Already on October 1, 1986, Power unit number one was recommissioned. On November 5, 1986, recommissioning of power unit number two took place. On December 4, 1987, post accident recommissioning of power unit number three took place. At the commission stages, in the implementation of the international obligations set forth in the Memorandum of Understanding between G7 governments and the government of Ukraine, a decision was made to shut down the Chernobyl and PP units ahead of schedule, before their design lifetime expiration. On December 15, 2000, the power unit number 3 was shut down. On November 29, 2000, the decree of the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine approved the comprehensive Chernobyl and PP decommissioning program. 2000-2015 shutdown stage. At this stage, nuclear fuel was discharged from the shutdown reactors and cooling pools and moved in interim storage facility for spent nuclear fuel number one for temporary storage. 2015-2028, the final shutdown stage includes preservation of the reactors and all contaminated equipment, dismantling of the equipment not affecting the safety. 2028-2045, the safe enclosure stage includes a natural decay of radionuclides and a natural decrease in the radioactivity of equipment and constructions. Dismantling activity is underway. 2045-2064 At the dismantling stage, all reactor equipment as well as unstable building structures are dismantled. Elements and fragments of equipment suitable for decontamination are decontaminated and released from regulatory control. The Chernobyl NPP site is cleaned and brought into the final state, brown spot. Shelter object One of the important current tasks of the CHNPP staff is activity on the shelter object transformation into environmentally safe system. It is important to keep in mind that inside the shelter object, according to expert estimates, there are still about 1,300 tons of fuel containing masses, 2,000 tons of flammable materials, 200 tons of nuclear fuel, 43,000 cubic meters of high level waste, 630,000 cubic meters of radioactive waste, 4 tons of radioactive dust. The dose rate in the under reactor space is 
1,500 Rengen per hour. New safe confinement. Construction stages. The contract for new safe confinement designing and construction was signed between the Chernobyl NPP and the International Consortium Joint Venture Nevarka in 2007. The confinement is a protective structure including a complex of technological equipment for nuclear fuel containing materials retrieval from the damaged power unit number 4. The confinement is a complex of radioactive waste management systems designed for transformation of the shelter object into environmentally safe system and safety assurance for the personnel, general public and the environment. During the site preparation for the new safe confinement, 5,500 cubic meters of technological materials were excavated and removed, and 90,000 square meters of working area was concreted. To ensure the new safe confinement project implementation and the arch sliding in the design position, new CHNPP second generation ventilation stack was erected in 2012, and the old ventilation stack was dismantled in 2013. The new safe confinement was constructed in three stages. The first stage is preparatory works, site preparation and driving of 396 piles. These works ensured safe and efficient construction. The second stage included the structures designing, fabrication, delivery, arch installation and construction, integrated testing and commissioning. On November 29, 2016, the new safe confinement arch was installed in the design position of the shelter object. And in November 2017, the new safe confinement enclosing perimeter was commissioned. Creation of a protective enclosure is of the same importance for the successful project implementation as the arch construction. The enclosing perimeter itself, the arch and the membrane between them are the basic elements of the new safe confinement. The new safe confinement is the main building, which includes foundations, western and eastern end walls, supporting and auxiliary systems, an arch structure itself with a height of 108 meters, a length of 162 meters, an arch span from the north to the south 257 meters, as well as a technological building with decontamination, fragmentation and packing facilities, sanitary locks, workshops and dozens of other technological premises. The new safe confinement integrated monitoring system includes radiation safety monitoring system, seismicity monitoring system, building structures monitoring system, radioactive waste and fuel containing masses management system, maintenance systems. For the new safe confinement construction, 45 donor countries, along with Ukraine, brought together their efforts. 10,000 employees from 40 countries were involved in the project, of which 5,000 were Ukrainian specialists. According to the results of gamma radiation levels measurements in the former arch construction zone, radiation levels have decreased in average by 10 times. The arch made impossible direct influence of sun rays and wind on the shelter object, which created air streams inside the shelter and transported radioactive aerosols outside its boundaries. The total volume of releases in average has decreased by five times. The final third stage of the new safe confinement construction is the early dismantling of the shelter object structures. To ensure the Chernobyl NPP decommissioning process, specific systems and infrastructure facilities are under commissioning. For spent nuclear fuel management, a new dry type interim spent nuclear fuel storage facility ISF2. The storage facility allows to place 25,000 spent fuel assemblies and 3,000 additional absorber rods from 3 RBMK 1000 units for long term safe dry storage. Interim spent fuel dry type storage facility consists of two parts. Spent fuel processing facility is designed for preparation for storage and packing of spent fuel assemblies from wet type spent nuclear fuel storage facility number one. Spent fuel storage area. The technology accepted for ASF2 involves use of a double walled canister. Its design provides long-term storage within 100 years of fuel due to isolation from the environment. 
the main current projects which are under implementation at CHNPP site. The industrial complex for solid radioactive waste management is designed for acceptance, processing and disposal of solid radioactive waste accumulated during operation and decommissioning, as well as a shelter object operational radioactive waste. The complex combines four solid radioactive waste management facilities. Temporary storage facility for low and intermediate level long-lived waste and high-level waste. Facility for all categories solid radioactive waste retrieval from the existing solid radioactive waste storage facility. And all categories solid waste sorting and low and intermediate level waste processing facility. And the fourth facility, engineered near surface disposal facility for short-lived waste, which is located at the vector complex site within the exclusion zone. The liquid radioactive waste treatment plant is designed to treat liquid radioactive waste accumulated during the period of CHNPP operation, as well as waste that will be generated as a result of the commissioning and the new safe confinement construction and operation. The design capacity of LRTP is 2,500 cubic meters of radioactive waste per year. The complex for manufacturing of metal drums and reinforced concrete containers for sentient PP radioactive waste storage was built for operation of the industrial complex for solid radioactive waste management and liquid radioactive waste treatment plant. The complex is located within the industrial zone of Slavutic. The cooling pond decommissioning. Activities on the cooling pond decommissioning started in 2014 in view of significant operational costs for water level maintenance, as well as the risks associated with high ground water levels at the CHNPP industrial site. A new water body with technical water was constructed, and water supply in a large water body has been stopped. All cooling pond decommission activities are carried out under strict radiation and environmental monitoring. At the moment of power unit number 3 shutdown, 9,000 persons worked at the CHNPP. Nowadays, the number of staff is less than 2,400. 